Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has declared war on Hamas after the Gaza-based militant group launched an unprecedented surprise attack on Saturday. In what was the biggest attack on Israel in years, Palestinian militants launched a barrage of more than 5,000 rockets in a coordinated attack by land, sea and air. The Hamas military commander called the assault Operation Al-Aqsa Flood and urged Palestinians everywhere to fight against Israeli occupation. Rockets were fired from the Gaza Strip as far north as Tel Aviv. Gunmen also entered the country from the south in a stunning infiltration of Israel's defences. Hamas said it had taken over several Israeli villages in the country's south. Gunfire could be heard echoing across the town of Sterot, which lies less than a mile from the Gaza Strip. Residents have been warned to stay inside while emergency responders activated amidst the fighting. Palestinian families across Gaza have begun fleeing their homes in fear of Israeli retaliation. Israel's defense force is the Middle East's most formidable, made up of 169,000 active duty troops and 465,000 reservists. It is supplied with some of the world's most advanced drones and weaponry. The U.S. provides Israel with $3.8 billion in annual military assistance. Saturday's attack holds deep significance for Israel, as the country has just marked 50 years after the Yom Kippur War. In that conflict in 1973, Egypt, Syria and other Arab countries launched a war on Israel on the holiest day of the Jewish calendar. I think right now Israelis are in a severe state of shock. They almost don't have words because they're just so surprised by this. And I think that uh, right now people are being called up to reserves all across the country. Uh, obviously, there's been a lot of political turmoil in Israel. Um, there have been a number of uh, military reservists who said that they would refuse to report for duty because of uh this battle over the judiciary in Israel. Everybody's put that aside now. Um, there's a mass protest movement that has called off all the protests and all the reservists who originally had said that they wanted people to refuse to report for duty are now urging everybody to report for duty. So I think the country right now is just going into fight mode, survival mode, like real survival mode. And I think that people probably don't want to start pointing fingers, um, but very quickly that will start happening. And uh, obviously the, the first finger will be pointed at the prime minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, and we'll see where he goes from here. In response, Israel's military launched airstrikes on what it said were Hamas targets in Gaza.